The sum rule states that if we have two different terms, we can calculate the derivative of those two separate terms separately. Let's look at an example with numbers to see this in action and make some more sense of it. So let's say that y is equal to x to the power of 4 and w is equal to x to the power of 9. If we have some expression where we're adding these together, y plus w, and we'd like to calculate the derivative of that expression y plus w, well, according to the sum rule, we can split up these two terms and calculate the derivative on them separately. So we can calculate dy dx and dw dx as two separate terms. So for this first term, dy dx, we are applying differentiation to x to the power of 4. And for this second term, we're differentiating x to the power of 9. So following the power rule, which we covered a couple of videos ago, x to the power of 4, we saw back then and in the preceding video on the constant multiple rule that that comes out to 4x cubed. Applying the same power rule to x to the power of 9, the 9 moves in front of the x as a multiple, and we subtract 1 from the 9 in the power, leaving us with 8. So the derivative of x to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 9 is 4x cubed plus 9x to the power of 8. All right, so really, this might have seemed a little bit complicated, but the whole concept is that if we're computing a derivative of separate terms, and equally these terms could be separated by a minus sign, that's exactly the same as the sum rule. You can just think of there being a negative one constant in front of the second term. But the idea here is that we have terms separated by a plus sign or a minus sign. We can treat those completely separately, calculate the derivatives separately, and that's all there is to it. Beautiful. That's enough derivative rules for the moment. Up next are a handful of exercises to test your comprehension of the rules we've covered, as well as to tie them all together.